Hello and welcome to the 13th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX Flappy Bird C++ series and in this part we'll be looking at implementing the game over scene. We'll be using the source code as usual from the previous part of the series so if you don't have it don't worry there'll be a link in the description to the source code. This scene will contain four main elements, the background which will be the same as the game and the main menu scene, a retry button, a main menu button, uh, the score which will be passed into the scene when it is constructed hence the scene will need to be modified but the scoring system we won't be implementing directly yet that is going to be in the, over the next few tutorials so let's add the first let's add the background first we will just copy and paste the code from the main menu as it is the same as well, the reuse code is literally this one here copy and paste the background so if we go to our uh, game of scene that was it almost forgot and paste it into there. The background has been added now we can declare the go to main menu scene function and the go to game scene function in the game of scene header so we're going to create some private methods so go to main menu scene and in here I do know I've missed out the void I'm going to put it in a second because 2d ref asterisk sender and then here we're going to put void copy and paste this and the only thing we're going to change for this one is go to game scene I need to get rid of the menu though so I'll go to game menu scene okay so before we create the menu and implement the functions let's include the main menu scene game scene and definitions header so up here do hash include game scene as we'll need that to access the game scene to restart the game hash include main menu scene we'll need this if you click the menu button to go to the mm. main menu scene and we'll need the definition I hit a bit of stuff like the transition time so definition dot header we will now implement the go to main menu scene and go to game scene function so just down here and void game of thing go to main menu and in here the go to main menu we're going to put auto theme uh, main menu scene colon colon create scene so we're creating a local instance of the main menu scene and we're missing an equals right there and now we just need to replace the current scene. So director get instance replace scene and in here we're going to do transition fade colon colon create. And for the duration we're going to transition underscore time for the scene that's just for the scene that we just created. Again, we're not going to have any color variable. Just keep accidentally keep choosing that particular transition and. Now what we can do to make it simple and easy for us, we can copy and paste this. And all we need to change is to go to main menu to go to game. Change the main menu here to game. And that is it. We can now add the create menu items. Uh, what I mean, we can create the menu items and add the menu to the scene. So we'll do that in the constructor right here. So we'll do auto retry item equals menu item image colon colon create. And we're going to be using this one right here. So for the normal image, we're going to be retry button.png, which is this image right here. For the selected image, we're going to be using this one here, retry button clicked. So we'll do retry button click the PNG. And for the callback, what we're going to specify for the callback is cc underscore callback one. The only text one parameter. Select is going to be game over scene, colon, colon, go to main menu scene. And for the target, we're going to put this. And now the next thing we're going to do is set the position of this. So that's the retry item. Set position. And the position 
it's gonna be point it's gonna be centered in the x-axis so visible dot width divided by two plus origin dot x but for the y-axis it's gonna be slightly different and we're gonna do visible size dot height divided by four times by three or we can just do the equivalent of times the times invisible size dot height by 0.75 and what this will do is it will position it three quarters of the way up and the reason we're doing that is we'll position the other item a quarter of the way up and in between there uh, over the next few tutorials we'll be implementing the score we'll show you what we mean when we actually run it the next thing we're going to do actually simply copy and paste this and just change what we need to change so change this to main menu we can change this to menu as we're using these two images. Actually, I just made a mistake here. This is supposed to be go to game scene. Hopefully, you noticed that. If you haven't, don't worry. And this is supposed to be go to main menu scene. And in here, change this to main menu. Everything looks a okay now. And now, what we're gonna do is simply create our menu. So we're going to do auto menu equals menu colon colon create. And for the menu, we're going to specify the two items. And those two items are going to be retry item, main menu. Ooh, where the hell did the put cursor go? I mean, the selector. I hate when that happens. Main menu item and what we're going to do is null right there. Need to set the position of the menu. So menu set position. And for this, we're going to do point colon column zero. The reason we're doing this is because we've set the individual item position. So we don't need the menu set at all. This add child. And add the menu, and now if we run this, all we should have is when we die, we'll have a screen with a background, we have a retry button, we have a main menu button, we click the retry button, that should take us to the game scene, we click the menu button, and it should take us to the menu, so let's just die. Taking a while. And now that we have just died, oh, ah, that's it right there. Had to also change this. To divide by four as we want it uh, at a quarter we could do divide by four times one but there's no point doing an extra calculation when it's going to end up being the same result so let's just run this again oh it's something that you forget slowly let it go down Boom, we got retry and menu. And like I mentioned before, we got this space here. This is where the score and the high score will be displayed over the next few tutorials. We click retry, go back to the main menu. I mean, go back to the game scene. And once we die again, we'll click the menu button and we'll, we should go back to the main menu. Just another thing that I want to mention, this isn't really to do with Flappy, but it was more to do with Cocos 2DX and how amazing it is. Uh, I mentioned here that we're setting the position to zero. Imagine if you wanted to do some sort of animation where you just wanted to move the entire menu, uh, maybe to the left or to the right, or you wanted to do something to the entire menu and it was the same for each of its items. Instead of saying, instead of doing an action for retry item, then applying it, I mean running it, then doing an action for main menu item, then running it, and however many other items you'll have, you could just do one action, run it on the menu, and you'll do it for all the items which i think is really really cool but for i uh, just mentioned that the next tutorial will cover displaying the player's score if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube or the required link for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a nice day